up everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related and today I have a good old fashioned Sephora haul for you guys. If you don't know, the Sephora VIB sale was recently last month and the last of my orders literally came yesterday. I placed multiple orders throughout the sale because the way the VIB sale works, you can use your discount multiple checkouts. So the very last thing that I ordered, which I placed my order on November 14th, got here yesterday and it is December 2nd. <laughs> So it took a while to get my one last item. Uh, I didn't know if people still wanted to see a VIB sell haul since it is over and done with. But starting on December 3rd, Sephora is actually going to be doing 20% off for all VIB members. This means if you just sign up to be a VIB, it's completely free to sign up you will get 20% off a one-time purchase between December 3rd and December 12th. Again, it doesn't matter if you are just the entry level VIB or if you are a Rouge, everybody gets 20% off. However, what is different about this sale is it is a one-time use only. thing that I don't really like about this is all the people that shopped the VIB sale last month that weren't Rouge members and got 10% off. I'd be kind of mad. <laughs> I mean, 20% off is obviously a lot better than 10. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird they did that. And then at the same time, it's like, well, what's the point of being, being a Rouge member then if you were just going to give everybody 20% off? Don't get me wrong. I'm super glad everyone is getting a 20% off discount. But like at the same time, it's like, what was the point of being Rouge? So I figured since there is a new sale coming, I would show you guys what I got in the VIB sale. So maybe it would give you guys some ideas. Some of these products are repeat purchases. Uh, some of these products are things that I stocked up on that I know that I use and I go through frequently. And then some of the stuff is brand new that I have not even tried yet because I was waiting to sit down and film this video. <laughs> I will have all the info for the Sephora Beauty for All event down below. The code for the Sephora sale coming up is gift easy. And again, that will give you 20% off. This is great. If there's something you see in this video that maybe you didn't think about picking up or you want to get 20% off, or if you're shopping for a gift, this is a great time to pick those items up. So let's go ahead and jump into everything that I picked up during the Sephora VIB fall 2021 sale. So I got 20% off during the VIB sale. So this was really my time to stock up on those items that I know that I go through a lot, items that I know that I needed, and items that I know don't normally go on sale, especially up to 20% off. So I'm going to kind of start with more of like, I hate to say boring stuff, but the boring stuff. The first thing that I knew that I had to pick up was my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. This is a cruelty-free brush cleaner. Everything that I'm mentioning is cruelty-free. If you are new to my channel, everything that I use, everything that I talk about is cruelty-free. So this is a really good option for a brush cleaner. I've been using this for years now, but I do go through it very quickly. I just finished up a gigantic bottle of this, so it was definitely time for a restock. This is so easy peasy to use. I, originally, when I first bought this, I bought the like starter set and it comes with a little tin that you pour this in, you dip your brush in it, and then you swirl around on a paper towel and your brush is clean. It's not the same as cleaning it with soap under a sink. You still need to deep clean your brushes, but this is great to get all and any pigment off and it's so quick and it's so easy. Definitely recommend this if you haven't tried it. This I've already had to open up. So these are my zit stickers. <laughs> these really do work for me. These are the Peace Out Acne stickers. Uh, I had to use one last night because I have an angry chin. It, I don't break out anywhere else. I get breakouts on this side and I get breakouts on this side. I finally was able to clear up all the acne that I had over here. And I kid you not, this cleared up. And then the next day, I know you can see this guy right here, but there's a lot more viciousness happening. But obviously I have makeup on, so I'm covering a lot of it. But these little zit stickers are great. I know they don't work for everybody. Everyone has different skin type. Put the, you put one of these little sticker patches on top of your acne pimple at night and in the morning you take it off and it doesn't, it doesn't get rid of your zit, but it kind of helps the process. This is really good for like painful pimples too. Like I always get like the painful ones right here and right here, you stick it on there and it, it kind of, heals them faster. Uh, so don't expect anything to go away overnight. I don't think that's possible, but 
this definitely lessens the aggressiveness. So this is something new that I picked up based on rave reviews that I saw on Sephora's website. This is the Tower 28 Save Our Skin Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So basically this is salt water. Obviously salt water is good for your skin. Every time you're in the ocean, you know, your, ten, your skin tends to be more clear and clear up. So the price on this is a little high for what it is, but I will say, it really does help. I will say, and I wish someone had warned me beforehand, this is very harsh on your skin if you put it in places where you don't have acne. So how I was using it was I was getting out of the shower, dry face, and spraying it all over my face. Now, I can't guarantee 100% this is what caused it, but my eyes were... I thought it was my uh, cooling eye stick that I got from Nimia. I thought that what was doing it, but I'm pretty sure it was this. Um, my eyes got, my eyelids got red. My one eye, I woke up and it was completely swollen. Uh, they were flaky. They were, I've never seen anything like it. I was like not wanting to leave my house because it was just so red, so flaky. And I couldn't just, I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I was reading how dry this makes your skin and how a lot of people with sensitive skin don't like this. My eyelids are incredibly sensitive. It's the reason I can't wear false eyelashes. I put lash glue on and my eyeball swells up like within two hours. The rest of my skin can handle this very well, but I avoid my lids. So since all of my acne is on my chin area, I will cover my eyes and spray it down here. And I was focusing it over here and I'm not even kidding. I had pesky acne scarring all over on this side and it cleared up within a few days after using this and I have tried everything. But now, of course, like I said, it's jumped over here, so I don't know, but I'm going to continue to use this until it's gone, obviously. So, so far, I think it works, but warning, do not spray your whole face with this, especially your eyes. Someone's probably watching this like, yeah, duh, you idiot. Next thing I got is from Freck, and this is the Rich Bitch Moisturizer. I have heard nothing but good things about this. I have not even opened this yet because I am still going through my moisturizer from pharmacy. I've been using the, the Honey Moisturizer, so I still have some of that left, and I want to go through that before I open this one. And I really wanted to try it, and I figured picking it up with the 20% off was the perfect time to do so. Of course, I had to pick up the Olaplex gift set. I've been using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner for years. Uh, it really works for me. I haven't gotten my hair trimmed, touched up, anything. I have not seen my hair dresser in over a year at this point. <laughs> and while, yes, obviously my hair could use some TLC, for the most part, I think it's held up really well. I credit that to Olaplex. I love the shampoo and I love the conditioner. You also get a few other items in here. You get the number three hair perfecter and the bonding oil. I haven't opened this up yet because I'm still going through my full size of the shampoo and conditioner. So I'm kind of waiting until that empties out, but I'll probably go ahead and open this up to try the uh, hair oil and also the hair perfecter. This is my favorite, favorite lotion, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream uh, by Sol de Janeiro. This is the Galaxy Gorgeous set that I picked up. This is just the sleeve of it. This is the box it comes in. This would be such a great gift for somebody. I actually might pick up another one uh, during the next sale for a gift. So you get a Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, you get a spray, you get the uh, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Hair and Body Fragrance. I absolutely love this. This personally will last on me all day. Uh, I know a lot of people in the reviews say it doesn't last on them. Perfumes just tend to last on me. I think if you have whatever bo certain body chemistry you have, you kind of like retain scents. This lasts on me all day. It comes with a body scrub and a moisturizing shower gel. I love all of these things. I haven't tried the body scrub yet, but everything else, I love so much. Again, this would make such an excellent gift idea for somebody. The scent is amazing. They describe it as like a pistachio caramel scent. It's just the best smelling thing ever, ever. I picked up a few eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Rose Quartz Palette by Huda Beauty. I have not used this yet because like I said earlier, my eyes were completely effed up and I did not want a chance putting anything over 
sore eyes. So I got all this fun makeup in that I couldn't wait to play with. And then my eyes got completely sore, crusted over, swollen, and I couldn't use anything because I was like, I gotta figure out what's making my eyes like this. And obviously I didn't wanna pack on more makeup on top of it. So I am so excited to use this palette. I'm sure you've all seen it. It is so pretty. Huda's Naughty Nude Palette is one of my favorites. I think it's so pretty. And this is kind of like Naughty Nude's nicer little sister, you know? It's beautiful. The swatches are out of this world insane. I cannot wait to play with this. And I'm so, so, so excited that I have this. All the reviews that I've seen on this, everyone says it's a 10 out of 10. So really excited about this. I guess I was on like a mauve purple kick because I picked up the Natasha Denona retro palette this is the midi size and it's actually what i have on my eyes right now i played with it for the first time this morning and oh my god it is so good these are the colors in the palette it is so pretty when i first saw this i initially was like i'm not going to pick that up because i thought it was too similar to the natasha Denona love palette which i also own side by side they look nothing alike they're totally different and this is just so pretty. I had a blast playing with this morning. I only used three of the matte shades for my look today. I'm just like so obsessed with how easy these are to work with. So really loving this after a first time use and I can't wait to play with it more. I got two of the Natasha Denona mini palettes. I have never bought a mini palette before. So I bought the mini retro palette, which is this. I thought these were really, really pretty, especially these more green tones over here. I love how they paired them with the pinky peaches. I just thought that these little palettes were so easy to like do a look with without really having to think about it. Then I picked up a holiday exclusive. This is the mini Metropolis eyeshadow palette and it actually, came with a little brush, which I don't think she's done this before. These are colors that I definitely do not have in my collection, and I thought these would be really fun to play with, especially this like blue-green sparkly color for the holidays. Wow, it really is just a Natasha Denona party in here. So I have used this. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This is the lighter one. As you can see, my fingerprints are all over it. I think this is so, so beautiful, and I'm so glad I was able to snag it for 20% off. The highlighter, the blush, all these shades. So if you've been following along on my journey, I have been lusting, lusting over the Natasha Denona Biba Palette. It's a $129 palette. Currently it's on sale for $89 and I want it so bad, but this is kind of satisfying that need for me. I'm a big neutral lover and these shades are everything and more to me. I know they're so basic, but the way Natasha Denona's formula is, it is so easy, it is so creamy, it is so good. And, and it's kind of satisfying my craving for the Biba palette. Do I still want the Biba palette? Absolutely, yes. Oh, here's kind of another boring thing I should have mentioned earlier. I got a hand sanitizer from Sol J. Janeiro, and this is in the Bum Bum Cream scent, and I love this because it does, it truly does just smell like the Bum Bum Cream. It does not smell like hand sanitizer. I don't smell any traces of alcohol in this. I keep one of these in my car, and the one in my car currently is like on its, like it's on its very last drop, and so, I had to pick up another one, kind of a bougie purchase, but you gotta sanitize your hands, you know? So this is another thing that I've been lusting after and I finally just was like, let's just do it, let's just get it. This is the Natasha Denota Nude Gasm Face Palette. Literally the most beautiful outer packaging that I've ever seen in my life. I really, really love this. I played around with it a few times and I really love it. I will say, <laughs> I went on her website to just kind of see what other palettes they had and this was the only one so uh I think that's kind of weird because I'm pretty fair skinned and these are like perfect for me so I can't imagine if you were any deeper any deeper than me that these would work for you Charlotte <laughs> you can't charge this much for your product and then not like invest it back into yourself you know what I mean like Invest in your product, make more shades for everybody, not just pale. Okay, so I picked up the Huda Beauty uh, Pound Cake. What is this even called? The Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And I totally understand what people mean by the smell thing. This smells like a heavily, heavily, heavily fragranced perfume for an elderly woman. 
I don't like the scent. Uh, I used it for the first time today to set my under eyes. Um, I'll have to play with it more. I honestly didn't really notice a difference. Another thing I'm not really a fan of is how messy this is. Even just opening and closing it, I don't, I'm sure you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's powder everywhere. I feel like you're gonna be losing more product than you're actually gonna be applying by the time it's all said and done, but I don't know. I know a lot of people really love this, so we'll, we'll play with it and keep trying. But this I didn't pick up during the Sephora VIB sale, but I picked it up during the Huda Beauty Black Friday sale. So I got this for 30% off. This is the Glowish Bronzer. This actually just came in the mail yesterday. I got the shade 02 Medium. I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I'm really excited to play with it. I picked up this Pat McGrath blush and highlighting palette. I don't know if this is from this year or last year. I think the packaging is from last year, so I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But you get the shades Divine Rose, Desert Orchid, and Golden Nectar as the highlighter. I used these blushes in the highlighter today and so far super impressed. Really like it. I thought this was a really, really great value for the amount of product you get especially since I had never tried Pat McGrath blushes or highlighters before. So this was my introduction to that part of the brand and overall really impressed with everything. This is something that I did not pick up from Sephora, but I picked up from the Pat McGrath website. This was when she was doing 30% off and then I had an additional 10% off coupon code and that is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime perfection foundation what a name i keep i've been keeping it in the box because i think the box is so cool this is really good <laughs> i don't have it on today i've been trying to cycle through my foundations because i really really desperately need to do a declutter so i've been trying to go through all the foundations in my collection to see what's worth keeping what's worth passing along um but this i totally get why people love it would i ever pay full price for this absolutely freaking not i think this is 60 it's either 60 or 70 dollars i think absolutely not no 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 um i paid around 35 40 for it i would pay 35 40 dollars for this absolutely it's got a beautiful finish just for reference i'm in the shade light medium 10 really really love this uh so if you can get it on sale get it on sale do not pay full price. Another foundation that I picked up, I tried it once already and I really, really like it, is the Lawless Foundation in the shade Dune. This is the little packaging it comes with. I think it's super cute. This is a super liquidy foundation, like you can hear it. But I really love the finish of it. I'll definitely be doing some try-on videos with all this stuff, so if you're interested to see my opinions on everything, how it looks on me, subscribe for more. Uh, but yeah, so far really enjoying this. I picked up a restock on my Rare Beauty Mascara. This stuff is so good. It's my all-time new favorite mascara. I currently have one in my drawer right now. I knew I wanted a backup as soon as that one is all used up. I 1000% recommend this mascara. It is so perfect. Can't say enough good things about it. Keeping with Rare Beauty, I wanted to try this so bad, so I figured I'd pick it up during the sale. This is the Brow Harmony Duo. I had never used anything like this before. I got the shade Brown. So this is what the little component looks like. It's so cute and so compact. It's two powders, so you get it kind of like an ashier, lighter color, and then a deeper color of whatever shade you choose from, just kind of like your natural brow hairs. And then how stinking cute is this right here? is the little brush that you use. So I actually used this today on my brows and I really, really liked it. Oh, and how cute, there's a little mirror in here too. So I used it today. So I went in and shaped my brows with the lighter color. And then I went in and kind of just alternated between the lighter and the color and lighter and the darker color and just kind of filled in where I have sparser areas in my brows. And I really like the way that it turned out. I feel like it looks very natural, but it definitely enhanced my natural brows. I don't know if this is going to work for somebody that has sparse brows. I have very full thick brows already and this I just feel really really helped enhance them and shape them a little bit better. So if you've got thick full brows like me I really recommend trying this. It made it it was so easy and I didn't use any other product. I had to pick up another Fenty Heat gloss bomb. The Fenty Heat glosses 
This is my all-time favorite lip plupper. I picked up the shade Fussy Heat, which is just kind of like a pinky nude. I have the Cherry Bomb and the Hot Chocolate Heat, and I wanted something a little more neutral. I am obsessed, obsessed with these. They're so comfortable on the lips, and they give just the slightest tingle. Nothing painful at all, because while they are sheer, the red one does leave a pretty red tint on your lips and then the hot chocolate one is like a deeper brownish purple shade and you can definitely see there's a tint to them so I wanted something more for every day. I picked up another lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury. This is my second one. I have the shade Pillow Talk and it's one of my favorite lip liners. So I picked up the shade Iconic Nude. It's just kind of a iconic <laughs> lip liner. It's what I have on right now and this is the shade. It's just that perfect nude shade. I Love the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Formula. They last forever and they just blend so easily in on the lips. They don't feather. They're perfection. They're just priced ridiculously high. So that's why I only have two of them and why I only pick them up during sales. Quite a few lipsticks from Makeup by Mario. These are the Ultra Suede lipsticks and oh my god, these are so nice. I have the shade Erin on right now and I absolutely love it so, so much. This is what the packaging looks like. It does have a magnetic closure. I think it's so simplistic and so sleek. I'm really, really impressed with these. I've been wearing these the past week since I got them and I can't say enough good things about them. I'm not gonna swatch them all right now, uh, but I will be doing a swatch try on video of all of these shades in an upcoming video. These next items I did not get during the Sephora VIB sale, but you can get these items at Sephora, but I got them on Too Faced, Too Faced, Too Faced. I got them on the Too Faced website. There we go. <laughs> because Too Faced, Too Faced. Why is it so hard for me to say? They were doing 35% off, so I got a few things. I picked up another one of my Hangover Pillow Bombs. These are so good. I have the original one, and then I have the one in Strawberry Kiss, which lives in my purse at all times. And then I also picked up the shade Mango Kiss. I tried it last night. It's just as good. I love it so much. It's got a very light peachy tint to it. These are incredible. They are such a treat for your lips. They're so nourishing. <sighs> so good. So when I saw that I could get these for 35% off, it literally took everything in me not to just complete my collection of these and just get every single shade, but I was like, just get one, just get one. And then I have been on the hunt for the perfect red lip, and I saw that Too Faced came out with these new lipsticks. These are the Lady Bold lipsticks, and I actually got the shade Lady Bold, which this one's packaged differently than the other ones. The other ones are in like a chrome is it chrome or silver? It's like a silvery, like it's in a silver packaging, but the red shade, Lady Bold, is in this red, which I thought was really cute. This is the shade right here. I put it on last night and it is beautiful. This is my, this is my holiday red right here. And this also has a magnetic closure. Really, really love that. And then since everything was 35% off, I also picked up the Lady Bold Lip Liner. This lip liner had a lot of really good reviews. Again, used it last night, really, really like it. The only thing that I don't like is while this is really cute, this is the little heart-shaped clicker. This clicker is how you get the product out. So there's no twisting, which I don't know. This is new to me. I've never had a product like, I've never used a lip liner with a little clicker at the bottom. So maybe it's just because it's new to me, but I wasn't like the biggest fan of that, but we will see with time. All right guys, so that is everything that I got from the Sephora VIB sale, stuff that I got from other retailer sites that you can find on Sephora. Uh, I hope you guys found this helpful. If there's any ideas you needed for anything you wanted to pick up in the sale that's happening December 3rd through the 12th. Again, I will have all the info for that sale down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. That is it. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.